In Stackdriver, metrics are used to understand the change of numeric values over time, and logs are used to capture specific point-in-time events. But what if you need to understand how those events change over time? You can use Stackdriver to create metrics from logs, and I'll show you how. This is the Stack Doctor. Google Cloud Logs contain a wealth of information, but it's hard to analyze trends without additional steps, such as exporting them to BigQuery and using a visualization tool. Stackdriver log-based metrics allow you to count records based on a filter. You can also track numeric values to easily convert logs to metrics you can use for analysis and alerting. Let's start with a simple example. We have an application that writes errors out to logs, and we'd like to create a chart that shows us how many errors we get and an alert that lets us know if we get too many. We can create a counter metric from those error logs simply by clicking the Create Metric button and selecting Counter as the metric type. The metric will count the number of entries that match our filter every minute. The metric is then available in Stackdriver Monitoring under the logging slash user domain. We can create charts using in dashboards and configure alerting policies using it. That was easy enough. We now have a way to use log-based metrics to count how many errors we see. Let's take a look at a more complicated scenario. In the case of a successful transaction, our application writes out a log message that tells us how long the transaction took. We want to track that value and chart application latency. Here's the log message with the latency recorded. To do that, we'll create a distribution metric. To do that, click on Create Metric, select Distribution as the metric type, and specify a regular expression to extract the numeric value we're after from a field in the log payload. The counter metric we created earlier just counted the number of entries that matched our filter. This distribution metric will instead track the numeric value we care about. Just like before, our new metric is available in Stackdriver Monitoring, and we can create a chart tracking its values over time. We can also use our log-based metrics for alerting, just like any other metric available in Stackdriver Monitoring, by using it as a condition in an alerting policy. One more great thing you should know about log-based metrics is that they make it really easy to see the log entries that were used to build the metric values. From a chart, you can simply click on View Logs to see the logs for the metric. While logs and metrics are often used for different purposes, you may have a need to create metrics that help you analyze log data. Stackdriver log-based metrics, both counter and distribution, allow you to do just that. Thank you for joining me today, and come back soon for more. This is the Stack Doctor. Stay healthy out there.